it's me coming to you currently and today I'm going to be reviewing Luster's Pink Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Line for Natural and Textured Hair. So let's get right into this wash day. I'm starting out with the co-wash. going in with the conditioner and I'm rinsing that out with cool water now for the leave-in conditioner I've applied my own oil of choice because that line did not have a oil neither a deep conditioner so those two I used of my own choice but everything else is from the Lester's Pink Shea Butter and Coconut Oil line. Now I'm going in with the hair milk And the Super Moisturizing Curl Definer. And look at the definition of this product. It's very moisturizing and I was really surprised at how well it worked. You see that? I'm just going to start this three strand twist. And now I'm going to start these little Bantu knots. Now don't judge me on my Bantu knots. I'm working on them. I know that they are not the best that you've ever seen, but I'm getting there. So with more practice, I will get better. <laughs> And I am done. Look at how juicy my hair is with all these products. It feels so great and super soft. And I slipped my edges down. Now for the takedown, put a little oil in my hair and then I just start to unravel these three strand twists which unravel really easily and look at the hold and definition of it I'm surprised seeing as though it's not a gel the hold is really good now I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit Fluffing up my hair is always a challenge. Now 
Now I'm going in with the glosser, which is not a part of the natural line, but it is what I use with my uh, straight hairstyles when I flat iron. It gives my hair an extra shine, as you can see. Now for my edges, I'm going with a smooth and hold edge gel, which is probably my favorite edge control. And for me, I don't typically lay down my edges, but when I do, you know, this product works really well. So that is it. That is my hair. Using Luster's Pink, Shea Butter, and Coconut Oil for natural and textured hair. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video of me reviewing the Luster's Pink, Shea Butter, and Coconut Oil line. I again went through the cleansing co-wash, the smoothing conditioner, the leave-in conditioner because they didn't have a deep conditioner in their line, which I was kind of upset about. But the hair milk, the super moisturizing curl definer, and of course the smooth and hold edge gel, which is probably my favorite edge control gel, period. I love that product. And then I use my oldie but goodie. This is not a part of the line, but it's part of the brand is the glosser. I generally use it when I flat iron my hair to give me that extra shine. And again, I just use it to give my hair an extra shine and gloss um, with this style. So overall, I think that I was more surprised. They, the products are definitely better than what I thought they would be. I didn't have as high hopes for them because it's not really a brand that was more so geared towards natural hair in the past. It is a very old brand that people have been using, you know, since forever when we're doing perms and pressing and all of that. But they have come out with this line that is more geared towards, you know, natural hair in the curly state or natural state. And I was very surprised at how moisturizing the products were. Um, the one thing that threw me off is the fact that all of the products have the same type of consistency. So that creamy, thick consistency, um, this one is a little bit more because it's the curl definer, but they all have that same consistency. And I was like, you know, how's this gonna work? You know, I was thinking that something should be more liquid and or certain things should be firmer. I was thinking this would be more firmer than what it was, but surprisingly, they all mesh well together. So even though the co-wash and the conditioner practically feel exactly the same, they do do different things. Um, the leave-in conditioner and the hair milk, they almost feel exactly the same. But again, they do kind of different things as well. You probably could use either or, but I used all of them um, in the order that I used them. And, you know, I'm happy that I did that just to see how everything would work um, together. And again, I mean, I love my results from the style. Um, I probably could have, if I left my hair in one more day, it may have given me a little bit less frizz, but I'm not really concerned about that too much. I'm always going to have some level of frizz, but it, you know, the products are basically meant to control frizz. So I think they definitely did cut down on more than what I expected it to be. Um, so I'm overall pleased. I would give it a four out of five. Um, the only thing that I would want in this line is a deep conditioner because then I can really see how much work is going to be put in, you know, because I judge products based off of deep conditioners primarily. So that's the only thing I'm lacking, but everything else, I'm pleased with it. I've been using the edge control gel for a while, but this is the first time that I've used all of the products together in one 
style for one wash day. So I'm pleased. And as far as the co-wash, you know, I don't do co-washes. I never really did co-washes back in the day when everyone was hyped up over co-washes and throwing out all their shampoos and all of this. I still use shampoos, but I tried to find shampoos that were more moisturizing. Um, so as far as co-washing, I still would not continue to do it on a regular basis or I would not replace it with shampoo but it did give me you know a kind of a good cleansing feeling to my hair so i would say it definitely could be incorporated in my regimen you know maybe like every other week but i still would shampoo my hair at least you know every other week i prefer to do it every week but the co-wash can still the co-wash can be used intermittent intermittently you know, in between your wash days, if you need to give your hair an extra boost of, of moisture and you don't want to uh, thoroughly cleanse it. So I hope you enjoyed this review and this tutorial. Well, not really tutorial, but just demo of uh, these products in my hair and leave me a comment on, you know, if you've used this line before or if you're interested and, you know, share your thoughts. So again, thanks. And I will see you guys in the next video next week.